Hello, it's Kathy, the art teacher. Today I'm very happy to share a new drawing tutorial that shows you how to make a snowy city painting. The project comes from my website, Art Project for Kids, which I hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Over the years, it's helped millions of kids learn how to draw. Please check out my videos, and if you like them, hit that like and subscribe button that's in the corner. It really does help me make more of these. Now here are a few reasons why I think this project has been so popular with both students and teachers alike. For starters, the large swirly shapes that fill up the sky have always kind of reminded me of Van Gogh's Starry Night painting. And when you add them to a row of simple snowy buildings, you end up with a really charming work of art. This project is also a good example of something called wet on dry painting technique. It's how those darker blue lines were created. Let me show you how it's done. To get started, the supplies you're going to need for this project are a sheet of watercolor paper, a pencil, a permanent black marker, paintbrush, water container, and some watercolor paint. I like the liquid kind. You can also always download this matching PDF tutorial from my website. Step number one, start by drawing a gentle rolling snow line near the bottom of the paper. Step number two, to create a row of buildings that are all different sizes, start by drawing a tall, large one on the left. The tops are all going to have a simple blanket of snow. Now draw a tall building on the right side with a snowy top. And then add one in the middle. Step number three. To start to fill in the left side, I'm going to add a shorter building. and then draw an even shorter one in the space left over. Be sure to have the snowy roof line extend out a bit and erase any extra lines that are inside. Step number four, the space on the right can get a couple of skinnier buildings just to add some variety. Step number five, now start to add some simple rectangle windows in all your buildings. The skinny ones can have one column and the wider buildings can have two or three columns. Step number six. To draw the swirls in the sky, start with the large one in the middle of the paper. Then add a smaller one on the right. It can tuck behind a building if need be. And now add another swirl on the left side. Step number seven. Now start to fill in the background with more swirl lines on the left side. Try to keep them equally spaced apart. Then fill in the rest of the sky with more background swirl lines. The goal is to have the sky look like it is layered with them. Step number eight. Okay, now it's time to trace all those pencil lines with a black marker. Make sure it's a permanent marker or else the color will bleed in a not so very pretty way. When you're done tracing, it's a good time to erase any of those stray pencil lines. Step number nine, it is painting time. I'm going to water down some blue for the background of my sky. Spread the color out so you don't end up with any puddles. Work slowly and fill in the entire sky, taking care to keep those snowy building tops white. While the sky is drying, you can start to paint the buildings. I'm going to use red on two of the larger ones. Slowly spread the paint around so it stays in the building shape. and I'm going to paint one more red one on the right. Try to keep those windows white. Next, I'm going to paint a couple of those buildings orange. These warm colors really contrast nicely from the cool sky. 
Remember to always wash your brush between colors. I'm going to paint my remaining buildings violet. Continue to work slowly so that snowy ground stays really white. Now for that wet on dry painting technique. I want a darker blue, but one that's not too dark. I'll mix a little up and test it out. Well, that first try was too light, so I'm going to add more blue. Now it's looking pretty good. I'm going to paint over all of my black lines to emphasize all those swirly shapes. And one last touch. I've decided that I want to paint all of my windows that sky blue color. It will add a bit more color and make the white snow stand out even more. And there, this snowy city painting is done. That combination of warm, colorful buildings lined up against a cool, swirly sky always seems to look really great together. For a special touch, you could use white paint marker to add some white snow dots, but I'm going to leave this one just the way it is. Well, that completes this painting project, and I hope you've enjoyed following along with me today. I do have even more drawing tutorials like this one on my website, Arts Projects for Kids, including how to draw a winter landscape and how to draw a snowman. I hope you check them out too. See you next time.